Yeah, what up everybody? I'm MY Emperor X aka and the next, or you could just call me X, but it's your boy. Yeah, yeah, your boy. Ooh, hoo, hoo. And this dusty motherfucker right here is quite simple by comparison, just a moose king, but that's just me, because we are the dust buttons getting back another glorious episode of Naruto. Not So brother <coughs> We have saved it for last, and I kinda you know give us credit for being able to do it. Let's talk Infinity Naruto War. And Sasuke walk toward wow. Yeah. Let's just jump head fucking heels into it. I almost Spoiler forgot. Spoiler alert. Week. By the way, for the whole episode. Between last Friday to this Friday, it's been one hell of a fucking week. In oh yeah. April, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thursday that week was was it Thursday or was it no, it was Friday. It was four twenty. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for all my ganja smokers out there. Woo! What they want. Then you had after that we had um God of War. The very next week. Like I said, only one week yeah. span. Yeah. From that day. Yep. Infinity War. Yep. And then the One Piece chapter nine hundred and three. That's right. That's right. So much good shit in a week. In so much week. good shit. So one week. Good shit. Bro. Yep. Yeah. Infinity War. Oh, so good. So good. Great. Okay, okay. So let, let's take turns talking about the film because we're going to get into this big discussion. Brother, you go first. No, what did you no, like no. about the film? Actually, no. I would rather you go first. Yeah? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So, things I liked about the film. Thanos. I like that we got him fleshed out. I like that he got all of the stones and was able to follow through with his, 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 uh, his plan, right? I like when the bad guy wins kind of thing. And my favorite, I think my favorite part of the movie, if I had to pick one, has to be the ending where Thanos is basically walking out of the cottage at a sunrise over a lake in a little cottage in the woods. Like, you don't see that kind of thing for the bad guy. You see that reserved for the good guys. So it's like, for the bad guy, you know, for all intents and purposes, bad guy, because he's just realistically doing his own moral deviated form of what he thinks is right, is actually getting his good guy ending in a sense because he accomplished what he set out to do. And that's my favorite, favorite fucking thing. All the fights were fucking great. The choreography was great. The dialogue was hinted and funny. And I love that each person's sort of uh, style of comedy was sort of brought over from their respective pieces. Like the way the Guardians interacted, the way uh, the way uh, the way Thor would do his little quips. I love that they kind of stayed in their own style. I did, however, if there's one problem I had with it, it was pacing. Because there was so much shit going on at once that we jumped from the middle of one fight to the beginning of no fight. And I'm talking Thor coming in with his new hammer about to do a mega thing and then cut that to another scene. That was the scene. best part of the movie. It was awesome. But my problem is as soon as he's like, oh, and we cut to another scene. It's like, I wanted to see well, more of well, that. Well, we got to see. He came down with the thunder. He, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. he did like two, three things and then boof. That, yeah. Went to exactly. I, like, I got you. You know what I mean? Like but, just a little more. All right. To emphasize on what you're saying. Go for it, brother. I have to emphasize, but I also have to contradict. Of course. Because there's two things. Go for it. One, I was happy with Thanos' performance. Two, I was angry with Thanos' performance. Because at the end of the day, look how Marvel has been advertising him. They advertise him as the classic Thanos. Right. From the first in, uh, Avengers trailer. Or, mm -hmm. or, or not trailer, uh, post credit scene. Right. When Once when Loki failed, blah, 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 the Black Order guy came and went and, and spoke yes. to Thanos. Thanos just turned around and just gave that evil ass smile. Yeah. Smile. Right. Okay. We move on. Guardians of the Galaxy. Look how he he is there. Not not look wise. Mm -hmm. Character wise, his personality. Right. How he is speaking to Ronan the Accuser. Mm -hmm. Okay. There. Mm -hmm. And how Ronan like like gets belittled, and how th when he's walking away, Thanos just looks at him and smirks. Yeah. And just laughs. Right. Because he knows he just tried him like a little bitch. Right. Right. Now, you move on to. Uh, what was it? The end of Age of Ultron, or yes. what was it? Age of Ultron. Or was it was a Civil War. I want to remember. Yeah, he, yeah. He, he went. He's like, fine. I'll do it myself. He went. He grabbed the the the, the, the gauntlet, gauntlet, and he got ready to go out there and do his thing. Right. Every single time, it felt like he was more close to the comic version, which is one of the things Marvel fans love. Right. I'm not. I'm a Marvel fan, but I'm not a fan boy. Right. Okay. Right, right. There's a difference. Now, you doing that. You went from him being like how he's supposed to be in the comics, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden have, making him have more grounds. Right, right, right. It felt like <clears throat> two different characters throughout the series to this movie. Right, right, right. You get me? Yeah. 
Like it, it sort of retconned him a little. Yeah, and 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 to do that in between, I mean, come on, bro, you've been advertising him for What's ten years mm. as this big bad, but all of a sudden you're gonna make a mushy. Right. That's yeah. my issue. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. my issue. I can totally understand. Now, that. now, besides that, he was badass. Right. I'll give him that. Right. He was badass. Oh yeah. You feel me? Oh yeah. And. I mean, I, I don't mean to be harsh on, on Marvel because I made like DC more as a comic book franchise. But as far as movies are concerned, I can't lie. Marvel's been taking it lately. And yeah, it hurts oh God, me yeah. to say that. It oh, really yeah. does hurt me to say that. Oh, yeah. But anyways, besides the whole cinematic universe bullshit. Right. Thanos' performance or Josh Brolin's performance as Thanos was great. Yes, absolutely. With what he was given, and it was written out. Right. I'm not too much of a fan of, oh, I'm doing this because this happened on my planet at one point, and blah, blah, blah. Right. When, in the comics, you're one of the reasons why your planet went like that. In the comics, your race didn't like you because you had a mutation. In the comics, you were born damn near malicious. Mm -hmm. You get me? Like, he was a typical bad guy, bad for being bad kind of thing. Yeah, like, his obsession was death. Right. right, literally, to the yeah. point where he fell yeah. in love with Lady the embodiment death. Right. of death, which was Lady Death. Right, right, right. Like, and in this one, no, it's not that I'm in love with death. I'm just trying to put the balance of the scales balance of the universe. To, right, you know, right. No, bro, and, and 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 that's where my issue came from. Right. But at the same time, it gave you an understanding for why he's doing what he's doing. So, right, I guess. Right. But you prefer a simpler Thanos. Just no, no, it, let it, him be. Bad, it's not man. about being simple. Mm -hmm. Is that. If you're gonna portray him as being just evil, just to be evil, right? Just to be a fucking dick, right? Keep and, it that and, way, and and, and 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 like so malicious to the point to where you're laughing at you, even your own people, right. Who are working for you, and you just curse them out, and you're laughing at them in their face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden, I'm doing this because I want to balance scales. Right, 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 right. It, right, it, right, it feels right. like two different people. I can completely you, you understand. Know what I mean? And if like even if they were to go that route, say they were to keep that sort of philo philosophical like ambiguity, they could still technically keep the original character, make him evil as shit, give no fucking you know uh, like exposition to our heroes right when they show up, just yeah. fuck with them and leave. And then in the second one, obviously we know he's gonna get taken down, but when he does get taken down, then push that you know that philosophical moral ambiguity. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let him still be the character that you wanted him to be, but give him that piece later on when he's already had his time. You know what I mean? Go for it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is pretty much when Obito is pretty much going, trying to go against Madara. Yes. And Madara is like, bitch, you know, all this power was mine. He's giving him a brief history lesson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. You know. He's going to create a new world. Like, fuck that. Woo! The ten-tailed beasts are mine already. Woo! You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sinister chakra. That's right, he's gonna go all Matrix on them and put them in the giant dream. I shall meet everyone. And you are me too, not Obito! Now the funny part to me is that Black Zetsu was supposed to be a part of Madara, like his personality. Right, right. right. And even that motherfucker betrayed Madara. Yep, because he was part of Kaguya the whole time. I'm actually time. the third child. I'm from the moon! Like, bitch, where the fuck did you come from? Yeah. <laughs> kind of snuck in there at the last minute. Yep. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I, how you tell your teacher, sit the fuck sit down. Sit the fuck down. I got this shit, right? Kakashi. Right? I got this shit. Hold your fucking phone. Chill, man. Oh, man. But yeah, no, brother. Infinity War is great, man. So no, much no, it, stuff. It, it, the, the movie was good. Yeah, no, totally, The totally. movie was good. That was my biggest gripe with the movie. Yeah, absolutely. Honestly, and that's what aggravates me because the movie was about Thanos. If you, yes. If you rewatch the movie. Yeah. It was the, a Thanos movie. The movie, the main <laughs> character of that movie was, was Thanos. Thanos. I loved how he beat Hulk the fuck up in the beginning. Oh no, I oh. love that because, you, you see, but now, think about that. Mm. The Thanos who saw at the very beginning of that movie, yep. who was beating the shit out of Hulk, yep. compared to the rest of the movie. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Did that feel like Thanos to you? It felt like, like you were saying, it felt like a different character of Thanos. You know what I mean? Like, they tried to do too much with it, you know? When they could have just left it for later, you know? They could have done it simpler and with a lot less, uh... Not screen time, but, like, a lot less going on, you know? Oh. Oh, yeah. One thing I did, like, and I don't know if you guys agree with me or not. Go for it. But remember how I told you that every single thing spelled out, uh, Thanos? Oh, yeah. For the stones? Right, right, right. 
The Soul Stone, I can't say I'm too angry with oh, because oh, everyone thought it was the heart of Wakanda or whatever. Right. The, the, the little right, heart right, right. or whatever. But it was not, but unfortunately. It was a heart, just not the type of heart you think. It right. was what you love the most. You right. have to give up who, the person or the something or whatever you, you, you love actually the most. value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So essentially, you're giving up your heart mm -hmm. for your soul. Exactly. And for Thanos, it was Gamora because reasons well he, he he loved her the most i know he to, does but to, it's still it's still fun you know to kind of feed in the yeah. way you're saying it felt a little tacked on there you know what i mean it's yeah. like all of a sudden he loves his daughters when in every other instance we've heard gamora talk about thanos it was every time we were with him he made us fight to the death and he's a horrible fucking person yeah yeah, yeah 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 i you mean know? he liked her more because she would always win but... exactly or at least that's how she put it. Yeah, but, but still, it's like every time we hear about him, he's this ruthless overlord. And now all of a sudden, no, he was a good father. No, no, he, no, he wasn't. Yeah, no, no, no. no. He, he wasn't even a good father. He, he was just somebody who actually cared about Gamora. Yeah, like, like it's like, why? I got the feeling. Right. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I got the feeling he cared about her when. I mean, he allowed her mother to die, and he didn't let her look. Yeah. Which was funny. He's he's like, "Where's your mother? Oh, don't worry, we'll find her. Mm -hmm. She's right over there, yeah. bro. She's about to get slaughtered." And, yep. and you're just yep. sitting there, just like, "No, no, no, don't look." Like, right? Just focus on the balance. Focus on the balance. Okay. You know, and and and, and that was my thing. I was like, "Okay, cool." Right. Uh, uh, it's a cool scene. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. I get it. But, uh, but then. It's like throughout the series, mm -hmm. he's spoken about like he's done these atrocities. Like think about yeah. it, just the idea of what he did to Nebula. Every yeah. time Nebula lost, and that's his daughter yeah. too. Yeah, exactly. Okay, he replaced he a piece replaced of her. the piece yeah. of her with with machinery. Yep. Now, if you saw Infinity War, the way he was torturing her, her body was literally spread out in yep. pieces. Yep. Which means she's all machine. She's basically all machine. Yep. Now. Yep. Yep. You know, yep, so yep, yep, so, yep, yep. so that just shows me yep, yep, yep. it's not just about favoritism. At this point, you have a sadistic taste of torture. Also very fucking true. But also very fucking true. But now you do this and I just want to balance. I just want to balance the skill. Yeah, right. It's That's, like eh. I mean again, I, I'm sounding harsher than what I want to. No, yeah. It, it, it's just my gripe with yeah, yeah, yeah. how they with characterize Thanos. him. It's not that you didn't now, like the movie, it's that you just had a gripe. That's all. Yeah. It yeah. doesn't mean we don't like the movie, it doesn't mean we thought it was horrible. No, it was a great movie. Not the just movie itself. Not perfect. Now the movie itself, mm. good fucking movie. Right, good movie. right. I mean, I was surprised he left them right. I really right. was. I, I, I really was. Shit. At one point, I thought Tony was gonna die. I was like, holy shit. I was hoping for it to be completely honest, and that's another little gripe I have. Doctor Strange, you picked a hell of a fucking time to suddenly do the right thing for one person when you know what's going to happen. Well, here's my thing. Well, well here's my thing. He saw 14 million different types of possibilities. Right, and this is the only one that works when he saves Iron Man. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Maybe he knows that Tony's the key to saving the universe. Why does Tony get to be the key again? Because he's the fucking front man. He's I know. Around. He set off this whole fucking hey, universe. Doesn't he fucking always? And if I was getting paid by Disney the amount I'm getting paid by Disney, right. fuck that. Fuck that, you right? Really, I want to be the savior too. Uh, exactly, <laughs> but it just it just feels like that reason. Right. You know what I mean? This is gonna uh. hurt. This is gonna hurt me to say this. Uh oh. But it's like saying, oh, why does Batman always have to be the one who figures out the way to win? Yeah, right. Yeah, but it's like, but that's my thing. Like, if that were the case, then this should be an Iron Man movie. You know what I mean? No, because Iron Man movies are not. Exactly, but that's yeah, what I'm saying. Like it, it. He had his personal growth. Yeah. Now he now gets to do movies... more first-person action in the new movies. That's supposed to be about everybody. But it is. Think about it. The, a lot of it centers around him. Right. If, if you really think about it, Captain America Three was about who? Uh, drawing a blank. Drawing Civil a blank. War. Oh, oh. It was yeah. about Tony. It was about Tony. Yeah, exactly. Again, about Tony. Like, so, so this is why I tell you, I mean, at, at this point, I, I can't even be mad at it. Yeah, you you've already just kind of accepted the fate. Yeah, bro. It, 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 <laughs> Marvel has their Batman, and their right. Batman is Iron Man. <laughs> it's God, Robert it's so Downey Jr., true. bro. Man, you know who I felt bad for, though, in the, in the Infinity War movie, though? The dude who plays T'Challa. Because he got, what, he's in two spots now. He was in his movie and in fucking... Uh, Infinity War, and now and you're killed off. he's not gonna be. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's not gonna be back until the second half of Infinity War Part Two. Yeah, like, but I mean, damn. It, it, I mean, it, it, it. You know what? I'm gonna look it up. What? I'm trying to see what comes after Infinity War. Uh huh. As far as movies. Oh yeah, we were talking about that the other day. That's because, right. That's right. Because we all know there's gonna be a Black Panther two. We all know there's yes. gonna be a Spider-Man two. Yes. So I mean, they're not gonna stay there. 
No, they're, we all know they're not. Somebody's gonna get their hand on the glove and it's gonna, you know, do the whole warp the universe back to normal thing. You know what I mean? Like that. We know that's going to happen. Yeah. You know? That's that's what I'm saying. I mean, bro, th 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 there's certain things with this movie that, that I was really, a as a fan, and, mm -hmm. and, and it's not even as Marvel, blah, blah, blah. It's one of those, bro, you set up a whole fucking universe for this. Yeah, exactly. For 10 years, you exactly. set up this movie. And now you're suddenly going to change some things? And, 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 what and a you horrible back, time. You, you backed out on yeah. one of the greatest parts of what you advertised. Yeah. Was Thanos being a fucking savage. But being ruthless, absolutely. Absolutely. fucking and, and don't get me wrong, he was ruthless when he fought it. Yeah, exactly. But it's just, we but, didn't need, we didn't need the all the explanations. But he spoke to people, and it, well, it, it's not even that. It, if the explanations were better. Really? Because I really liked him. No, that, to, to, to me the explanations were were giving him a reason to to, to seem like right. instead of just a flat out bad guy. Right. Oh, we want you to relate to him. Right. Now it's fine. He's more relate ambiguous. to the guy. Right. But this is Thanos. This is the big bad. There right. is no relating to this fuck. Right. Right. He is obsessed with death. It's like trying Why to relate to Galactus. You... <laughs> it's like saying, oh yeah, I, I can understand because oh. I eat fucking plants for days. I get hungry too, and I've eaten ants, therefore I'm just like Galactus. Yeah, I kill hundreds of fucking beings in one instance. Right. You know, just like... Right, right, right. Thanos should have just stayed Thanos. The simple Thanos we know from the comics. Make him evil, make him the big bad guy, and that's all he needs to be. Yeah, I, I, I get I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this, but yeah. I, I, honestly, I don't... Uh, I don't know. He's too complicated for a villain, or... Oh, hey! So. Yeah! Boom! Right in the dog. Oh. That was cool. Let's see. Let's see. What else can we talk about from Infinity War? I don't know. The, 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 but again, the movie itself was fucking fantastic. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Bruce Banner. To me, Bruce Banner should have been Hulk more. Yeah. Because, like, Hulk is who we need. And the bullshit reason why Hulk didn't want to come out, I call bullshit on. Well, think no. about it. He... Come on, Hulk! No! Well, think about it. He, one, he's never gotten whooped the way he did. Yeah. And two, well, one, he's never lost. H hasn't he, though? No, because that fight with Iron Man, he didn't really lose on a one-on-one -on -one fight. He lost because at, a, at one moment, mm -hmm. he started to look around and like, holy shit, what the hell did I do? And I'm like, right. bam! Surprise attack. Right, the no, banner party. He got knocked out. Okay. Okay. The only other time the was this. No, about Sakaar. He was going to lose to Thor. No, he wasn't. Wasn't he, though? What? Look, he could have, but did he? I mean, I feel like that's the only reason Jeff Goldblum stopped the fight. Yeah, he could have, but did he? And I, and I, I can honestly argue that that Hulk could have still lasted longer. You think so? Yeah, I feel like I feel like they were giving Thor such the upper hand on that that he would have won. It's fight his continue. movie, of course. But also true. <laughs> it's his movie, of course. But yeah. but at the same time, I still think Banner could have put up a hell of a fight doing that. Yeah, I think he could have put up a hell of a fight, but I think Thor would have still won. I don't think so. No. No. Oh. Oh shit! I could never walk in a straight Let's see. Line. When else did Hulk lose, if at all? In in the MCU? Never. But now. So that you think that was just a big blow to his pride? Yeah, it was. It was him. Like it, it's like having male impotency. But you 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 have it in your head that you can't do it no more. But my thing is like, I don't know. Hulk to me is kind of overcomplicated in that sense. You know what I mean? Like he's just supposed, it, it, in, especially initially with the route they were going with, you know, the original Avengers and whatnot. He was just supposed to be that sort of personification of the anger. You know what I mean? We never really saw Hulk thinking all that much. Mm. Out outside of when Banner's consciousness was essentially doing thinking. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what that's what that's what doesn't make any sense to me. Like, why choose now to give Hulk more thinking? Because it's Thanos, bro. He got he got wrecked savagely in seconds. Yeah, but that's does Hulk never know happen. who Thanos is and how to compare No, it, it's not about that. It's no. about he got beat savagely in seconds. That's never happened to so him. So he backs down like a pussy? Yes. That's stupid. It, For it Hulk? Is. That's it really is. stupid. It is, but that but think of it that way. It's like oh, you're, you're, you're you're known as the best at everything. Right. You've you're the strongest won. of them all. Always. You're right. Always, always, always. And then you get your ass bam, in, in a couple seconds. And it's ah. like, holy shit, that takes a shot at your pride. It's like, yeah, where the fuck but... did this... Well, where did this guy come from? But that's just it's being not a, a great. It, it's, it's not, not a great, great, great explanation. But it's the it one is we got. What it is. That's fucking Where's yeah. That <laughs> but nevertheless, guys, brush that dust off your shoulders. Brush that dust off that beautiful last subscribe button. If you like what we do here, leave a like in this video. Leave a comment down in the comment section. We'll try to get back to you guys. Don't forget to give that bell a little ring on the bottom there, so you always know when our new video goes up. And if you like what we do here, 
Share this out to your friends. Tell everybody you've ever met and everybody you've never met what it is we do here. But brother, how do they do that? It's easy. Yes. You go to the computer, you look at the thing, and you be like, holy shit, what's the name of that thing? I uh, look at D U S T uh, Budneys. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. what do you do? You do. Well, I mean, what's that red button shit? Uh, su- subscribe. subscribe these bastards, you scumbag. Uh, I want you to fucking subscribe to them, right? Ah, uh, well, and if you absolutely love what we do here, drop us a tip on Patreon. We really fucking appreciate it. But well, we will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.